What's up y'all? It's your boy Titan back with another video and as you can see I'm already on what I want to talk about. It's the update 1.0.49 summer chapter. Um, let's dive into it because um, I spoke on this briefly yesterday and I'll just I mean they're adding some clarification so we have more details now about what's going on. Uh, greetings governor. We plan to update the game to version 1.0.49 Summer Chapter on around UTC 2021-8-11. Before the update, you can download data in advance via events to earn nice rewards. We apologize for any inconvenience this might cause and will send you a compensation reward once the update is complete. Man, that compensation reward is not enough to for what y'all about to pull man uh, one summer festival events will go live within a week after the update the once yearly summer festival preparations are in full swing but the attending beyond ironside is not nearly as impressed as managing commanders minamoto and tomo gozen I think that's how you pronounce that commander's name. That's the archer. Can they iron out their differences before events get out of hand? Summer festival story. Start the summer story and join with the commanders. Festival preparations. Seven days of questing for great rewards. Festival gala. Participate in the banquet and earn decorative items and festival city themes summer sojourn collect flower paper for great rewards in the festival gala race against time who can eliminate the most barbarians in a short period of time protect the supplies escort supplies to the village to ensure the festival can proceed smoothly see the events calendar for a detailed schedule all that's all good you know that's typically what it is except for this uh, Beyond Ironside and Minamoto uh, nonsense. Uh, that's something new that they've added. Um, you know, I guess uh, trying to add more to the stories. It's cool. Whatever. Uh, number two, Lost Kingdom optimizations. We are continuing to optimize the Lost Kingdom in order to offer a richer and smoother experience for governors. In the March of the Ages, Story added a new series of technology quests into the season. Updated building icon and certain screen displays. Improved the reserves dispatch to Fort Camp Command with the cancellation option when en route. In the Strife of the Eight story, optimized the rewards available in some of the Crusader achievement quests. In the Light and Darkness story, Crusader Fortress destruction time reduced to... 24 hours from 20, uh, 24 hours from 48 hours, or from 48 since they didn't put hours. Four governors under City Hall level 16 cannot claim the Lost Kingdom achievement rewards again. I didn't know they could claim claim them before. So you know they they're making some changes to the Lost Kingdom. I've never been in March of the Ages or Strife of the Eight. So I don't know what any of that means. Light versus darkness, you know, after the pass is all open and you can finally go into their zones. Instead of the Crusader Fortress taking 48 hours to burn, it'll only take a day now. Nice. And again, I don't know anything about City Hall level 16s and rewards. I don't know. The most important part... Uh, of this update is number three other optimizations one we have both we have boosted resource points deposits by 25 percent across all levels on the map excluding gem deposits and alliance resource centers <laughs> oh boy it improved troop base gathering speed by 10 percent <laughs> <laughs> oh man we have also set a daily <laughs> oh my god Lilith stop it we have also
also set a daily cap on the quantities of resources that can be received through resource assistance and plundering at 200 million for each or 400 million in total. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Man. I have pointed this out now for, I don't know, maybe six or seven months that the developers at Lilith, they have a serious issue in their philosophy of the game and as far as uh, distributing rewards and stuff, man. Okay, you're going to go from unlimited, uh, you know, resource assistance down to 200 million and try to offset that by saying you'll increase the amount of resources in the nodes by only 25 percent and then increase the gathering speed by 10 percent like what are y'all doing man that that's not even remotely close to you know offsetting the burden that you're going to be putting on you know, the free-to-play players. Just, man, like, what what are they doing? But uh, the the issue, I think, the development, this game suffers from uh, the law of diminishing returns, which means the more you buy something, the less overall value you get. Like, the bundles are a great example in the beginning of the game you know if you max purchase uh, you know say the research or the city of hope the speed ups in that you know is 39 days but after you've gone through all of that you know trying to get your uh, city hall up to level 25 those bundles have very little value I mean just like all of their value is used up which is why no one buys them and the amount of resources that say you get from the bumper harvest uh, the amount of speed ups that you get from uh, the geared up and the material that you get from the geared up it is you pay an astronomical price to get very little in return which is why i'm assuming sellers are so popular or these bot people are so popular I mean, op, the third optimization in this just sums up everything. Um, just how they, they need to change their philosophy. Um, when I said this, I think three months ago, in reference to the legendary city skins, like, why do the legendary city skins have a negative buff on them why can't i mean the amount of resources um speed ups that you burn in order to earn a legendary uh skin you should not be penalized in any way you know a negative buff shouldn't be added to you know the the, the city skins but that's a reflection of the developer's philosophy in the game like they can't give you something positive without taking something away like i don't know why they're like that or, or or why they do that but they seriously need to take a look at that man because they are going to destroy themselves if they continue this line of thinking number two optimizations to arc of osiris Troops in hospital are now included in the matchmaking calculations according to a certain ratio in the Ark of Osiris matchmaking system. Ark of Osiris practice matches cannot be held on Saturdays and Sundays. As good you can you know, do them on Saturdays and Sundays. What is stupid is why, like, the only time troops should not count in matchmaking calculations is if they're dead if you no longer have access to them if they are in the hospital i have no idea why that affects 
power in matchmaking calculations. Actually, I, I guess this will lead to what I'm going to talk about uh, later after I finish going through this. Uh, number three, improved Osiris League minimap display. Nice. Number four, new alliance search functionality. Results will highlight whether an alliance is currently a part of your kingdom, and you will no longer need to get the capitalization right when searching for an alliance name. That should have always been the case. Uh, five, the 30-day research speed-up supply. <laughs> But 30 day research speed ups, man, all the research speed ups I get through the Wheel of Fortune, I don't, let me, let me finish reading this, <laughs> 30 days research speed up, come on man, has been available for a limited time, it should have been available at any time, these supplies are only open to kingdoms that are undergoing or have passed the eve of the crusade from Lost Kingdom Season 1 when this event... Okay. Alright. I guess that makes sense to, to offer it to them. But if any of those players, you know, do the Wheel of Fortune and they max that thing out, they got at least a 30-day supply of research speed-ups from that. Uh, number 6. Improved a bug in the power rating of certain equipment with special talents. Nice. 7. Improve the underlying, underlying algorithm for Season of Conquest Imperium Kingdoms. Linking Imperium Kingdoms numbers with the number of kingdoms entering Season of Conquest. I don't know what that means. <coughs> Excuse me. 8. Add a new Master and Commander achievement category. The completion of which series will earn an abundant reward. Nice. I I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think they understand what the word abundant or you know rewards mean because they don't. I mean, th their idea of abundant rewards is man. Let me let me see if I saved it. Let me see. Did I save it? Where is it? Ah, oh, okay. I'm assuming that this is their idea of uh, abundant gifts. Eight hour boosts, <laughs> one gold key, three silver keys, and uh, 500 action points when the barbarians that we'll be facing soon take up 100 action points. So, you know, this, you know, gift from VIP, you know, this is their idea of uh, an abundant gift. <laughs> abundant rewards will be equivalent to some nonsense like this uh, let me uh, go out of this though so with the whole um, resource gathering nonsense let's see exactly what kind of bonus that would be let me recall Cleopatra and the reason I'm recalling Cleopatra because Cleopatra has uh, this gear on and I think one of these gives 10% gathering speed and I, I want to see this is 10.5% gathering speed so if I take that off this is 8 13 gathering speed 8 6.5 so I'm gonna just remove the mask of the forest guardian send her out to gather a resource a resource a resource node and we can you know see just what the bonus for 10% uh, is you know 
uh, they think that that's uh, a, a huge boost to offset the tomfoolery that they're doing. And it's it's not, I can assure you it's not. But, you know, that that's just how this game is. I mean, in this game, the cost always, always outweighs the benefits. <laughs> Rarely do you get a situation where the cost or the benefit is better than the cost. Rarely. Alright, so let's, uh... Uh, go to your girl. Move this off of her. Send her to a node and then bring her back. And we can, you know, I need the nodes to be close to each other. Um, that's a level three, level four. Okay, food and wood are equal in the sense that there's the same amount of food as there is wood but no and i'm gonna make it even the same thing okay let's send her out here use the same commanders and we will be looking or you know we'll see the difference in in speed or time for gathering since the mask gives 10 percent 10 and a half percent Gathering speed and Lilith's update is going to give us a uh, 10% gathering speed while trying to crack down on sellers, which exist because Lilith has a serious issue with distributing rewards or with their bundles, like. I, I just don't understand it. Their rewards typically never outweigh the cost. Never. And since I'm not uh, sponsored, uh, a content person uh, from Lilith I can speak my mind freely <laughs> I can speak my mind freely whereas other people uh, may you know have to be politicians all right 42 minutes and 10 seconds essentially it takes to gather a level 3 resource node. So, 42 minutes and 10 seconds. Now we're going to add the mask back, which gives Cleopatra the 10% uh, gathering speed. 10.5% gathering speed. I know you guys like the improvement in the audio. There is, it doesn't sound like uh, we're about to take off in uh, a 747 jet. <laughs> so it took 42 minutes and 10 seconds to gather a level three food resource node so I'm gonna go to this one same amount of uh, resources available in it after I throw this mask on Cleopatra and we will we can compare the difference what they need to improve the March speed on siege units I'm joke is slow. Very slow. Alright. So. I didn't mean to go inside this. Cleo. Where you at Cleo? That girl. Cleo. Bam. 
All right, so you can see the gathering speed plus a little bonus. It's ten and a half, so it's a half a percent faster than the ten percent Lilith is going to bless us with. I'll open this thing up, and then we'll see how long it takes to gather. So again, 42 minutes and 10 seconds without the 10.5% gathering speed. Now we have the 10.5% gathering speed and we will see the difference. I assume that it won't be very much of a difference. But who knows? The th crazy thing is in their little notes previously, they said they did extensive testing. They couldn't have. Okay, 41 minutes in 9 seconds or 10 seconds. So, a 10.5% increase in gathering speed equals a minute off the time. Um... Maybe if you go to larger nodes, um, it'll be more than that. It'll probably be maybe a five minute difference. And in the grand scheme of things, five minutes. So like if you set someone to, to gather in a level six node, there's a, a million resources here. Or whatnot. Um, five minutes faster, or you know, even ten minutes faster. Um, uh, ten minutes faster may be a nice uh, added bonus, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Is there another level six wood somewhere here, and I can compare that? It's not close. Nope, it's not close. Well, anyway, it's a it's a rip, in my opinion. Um, they need to do better than ten percent. Ten percent is trash. Uh, it's not a significant difference in uh, gathering. Next, the next thing oh, I want to talk about was, you know, the hospital, you know, counting power and stuff that way. So, my second KBK when I was in 1895, our total kingdom power was 15 billion. And, in, you know, we didn't, you know, put troops in the hospital or anything like that. You know, that's that was just our troop power. And in our KVK two, we went up against Kingdom eighteen eighty four. In eighteen eighty four's uh, kingdom power was twenty nine billion. So nearly twice the amount of power than us. And they were in our seed and I have no idea how they were able to get into our seed. Um, you know, 29 billion and 15 billion, like that, that's a huge, huge difference. And uh, to make a long story short, I felt that, uh, you know, I was cheated. You know, I felt that we were cheated out of a, a KVK because, you know, this kingdom should not have been with us. Like they, they shouldn't have been with us. Um, and I'm assuming they were able to uh, fool the system because troops were in the hospital. And to me, that's just stupid how the system wouldn't count their power. Like, they aren't dead, so the power shouldn't change. Um, 
should only change after um, Iron Man what are you doing dude should have been fixed you know the whole hospital power thing and that led to me starting my own alliance because when I was fighting 1884 a great deal of the time I was out there by myself not only trying to defend flags I was out there open feeling um, and just getting myself obliterated blowing through my resources crushing out the limited bundle reset to try to uh, keep myself alive to continue to, to, to fight against them and no one in my kingdom th there there wasn't anyone there who wasn't also already fighting that could give me resources like at no point in this game uh, from kvk my first kvk2 my second kvk2 which was a, a joke this last kvk3 that i just did you know at, at no point in this game have i ever been receiving resources from other players like um i, I don't demand or i don't ask uh, people to to send me resources or anything like that but uh i've always relied on myself and like i say after my first kvk when i when i saw that there was no one that could help me i said you know what if i can just get access to an alliance pit um, farm as much as i can out of these smaller accounts but mainly focus on the um, alliance pit you know i can gather a lot of resources uh, for myself and have them available when i need it if i run out of resources and i'm you know tired of maxing out the limited bundle which again is just trash for the value of, for the amount of money that you spend on them um, and Lilith really needs to fix that because they are their own enemies they make the market for the sellers to sell so if they wanted to stop sellers from selling to, to people they should uh, make the bundles better they should get out of this philosophy of the cost never never equal the benefit like the the cost always outweigh the benefit in this game you know killing troops training troops trying to win a legendary skin just the, there there's so many uh things that uh can be addressed and they and i i think they're simple fixes but you know, I'm not a developer, and I don't, I don't know. They, they may be super complicated. It may be uh, super complicated to, uh, you know, improve the bundles. But it, it just seems like something that can uh, be done without all this extra stuff that they do. Um, I really wish they would get out of the habit of, okay, if we give you something, we have to take something away. I mean. <laughs> I don't know where they get this idea from, but it's it's a horrible philosophy that needs to change. That I wish would change. Um, well, uh, that's all I got uh, for this rant or just this video uh, talking about uh, how Lilith not only... Oh, uh, that's what I wanted to show. So... Let me take a quick peek at uh, my gathering uh, report. So, where is it? I just, so just coming out of the Alliance pit, it took uh, 19 hours and, you know, it's a total of 20 million resources. So, if I'm in the Alliance pit until the end, I can get at least 
60 million resources, in this case food, um, before the alliance thing dies out. So, um, yeah, not everybody can do this. Um, there's not enough room, one, not enough resource nodes for flags to be built so you can. And, um, you know, it's just little things that Lilith can do to uh, make the game better. But, uh, you know, they just have a, a poor, not, not a very good philosophy on on the game. And it suffers from the law of diminishing returns, which they need to fix. That's all I got for this video, man. If you've enjoyed this video of me talking nonsense, rambling, and complaining, please leave a like, consider subscribing, hit the bell for notifications, and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Until the next time, peace.